Hello everyone and welcome back to Pod and Play Entertainment. My name is Chris and in case you don't know, I review movies and I rank them on a scale of 0 to 100 in increments of 5. Today we are going to be talking about a new movie called Nobody. So Nobody uh, stars Bob Odenkirk, Alexei Serbrayakov, Connie Nielsen, Christopher Lloyd, and RZA. It was directed by Elia Nyshuler, and it was produced by Toby Maguire. Yes, Toby Maguire. Mark S. Fisher and Derek Halstead. And this movie tells the story of a middle-aged man who's got the same routine going all the time. His life is just gets up, make coffee, go to work, go to bed. And his marriage with his wife is kind of rocky. Um, and one night he's robbed. Right, and his son does it. He, he sort of cooperates with them, even though they have the drop on the robbers. And so his son doesn't understand why they, he didn't do more. And so he keeps getting a hard time about this. And then eventually he goes and finds these robbers. And then on and he on the bus ride home, there's these drunk guys who get on the bus and start, you know, d you know, making disorder and stuff. And so he fights them. Well he, late, well, he finds out that one of the guys he had beat up was the brother of a really bad dude with a lot of power and a lot of money. And so that guy starts coming after him. And he is a former member of the government who used to do s s top secret stuff. He was basically a bad A spy, essentially. So, not a spy, but... Um, well, yeah, maybe like a spy. I don't know. But anyway, so he has a background that he's trying to forget, but it's kind of, he's being forced to bring it back in order to deal with this. Um, now this, I don't know who involved with this also made John Wick, but I know that there were some people involved with this that did help make the John Wick movies, and you can see that in this. Um, but I did like this better than John Wick. I've already discussed this before. I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but I don't like the John Wick movies. Um, but this I did like, and I was very surprised by it. I went to this expecting to just have fun for an hour and a half, but I actually got a little bit more out of that. Uh, so let's get in my pros. So the first thing is, uh, Bob Odenkirk was really good in this movie. He was surprisingly good in this movie. Uh, he does his own stunts, which again is really impressive. The action sequences are great and really impressive. And it's amazing because you wouldn't think he could do this stuff without them getting up close shaky cam, but he pulls it off well. Like, it's really shocking how well he did in this movie. Um, it's also got some really good humor in it as well. Um, I liked how Bob Odenkirk's character wasn't John Wick. Part of the problem I had with the John Wick movies is that John Wick is invincible, and so I never have to feel any sort of danger for him because I know nothing's ever going to happen to him. Well, his character is a lot, is more vulnerable. So I do feel, you do feel danger for his character and I like that. Christopher Lloyd was in this movie and he was really funny as well. And he had some of the best moments of the film. I also liked the ending of the movie. Uh, the big, just the big, you know how like in an action movie there's always a big moment right at the end to top it all off before you go into the aftermath. That part in this movie is really awesome. Um, and I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. This was really, really surprising. I can see why this has such a high rating on IMDb right now. <clears throat> I was really, really impressed by this. It's not a masterpiece or anything, but it was a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, it's not perfect, so let's get into some cons. Uh, the villain is kind of stereotypical. I mean... Other than the fact that he likes to sing, he's there's nothing really special about him. We've seen villains like him in movies thousands of times before. Um, and the movie's kind of slow to start. It takes the, the movie a while to sort of get to the point. Um, but at the same time, I can understand that because it had to be like an hour and a half. But it wasn't boring. It was just... I started wondering like when exactly the movie was going to get along. Um, but it did. And once it does, it, it's really awesome um I, I really don't have much of an issue with this honestly if anything those are just kind of nitpicks except for the villain thing but um yeah i i definitely recommend going to see this i cannot believe how good this was again it's not a masterpiece 
but it was surprisingly really good. And I'm going to give nobody an 80. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Power Planet Team for more. Hit the like button. Leave movie review suggestions down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram and Tumblr at Pied Planet Entertainment and much love.